Hello everyone, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks very much for joining us. We've got some spring-like weather on the way and it's still technically spring so that's not too surprising but it might be a little surprising how cold Friday night and Saturday morning will be across the country with a risk of frosts. And then we go back to northerlies from Australia just a few hours later. So let's try and make sense of what's going on. Here's the low that's been bringing the localized flooding to the North Island um, and the downpours as well. It is unraveling. It's falling apart as it moves into Taranaki, but you could still get another 20, 30 millimeters across today. So just be aware of that. But the low itself falling apart, a few big downpours through the North Island and a bit of patchy, uh, drizzly stuff around Wellington. More cloud, although hopefully that will break up a little bit, but Wellington's had a fair bit of cloud lately. Saturday might be a little sunnier for you, but overall you're still in this big cloudy run in the Wellington region. And you can see you've got these warm nor'westers. That's the reason why Thursday is not too cool in the south. But like I say, we've got a southerly on the way. So here is Friday, and look at that southerly, the blue line coming back. We haven't seen that for a while, indicating that this colder air from the southern ocean is spreading up. Going around this high, so the big high is out to the west, anticyclonic winds, pulls up that southerly, showers, and it's not going to be very warm in Southland. Highs of 11, 12, 13 degrees, 13s if you're lucky. Pretty cold around uh, the eastern side of Otago, coastal areas. And then that rain and showery weather moves up the country. It reaches Wellington towards evening. But because that high is just there, once those showers move through, the high comes in behind it, brings clear skies, light winds, and locks in that colder airflow. In the north, it's a bit windy on Friday with those southwesters. They even could be gale force in a few areas, but they shouldn't be too problematic. So let's take a look at those temperatures. As I say, Friday night, we go below zero. This is the map here, and it's expanded since the last 24 hours. Uh, yesterday, it was only showing a little bit around Queenstown. Now it's showing quite a large portion through the Southern Alps, Northern Southland, and the Western Central sides of Otago all have a frost risk. You can see this map at the Weather Watch website. You click on Maps and Radars, and you'll see it here below zero. Just click on that. It's interactive, so you can move the bar along. So it's going to be a bit cold. Frost will be very light for those who do get them. When you wake up on Saturday morning, this is the departure from normal, around about sort of sunrise, if you like, and it is certainly colder than normal. Um, the dark blue, four to eight degrees below where you should be for this time of the year. And the tops of the hills here and these little uh, areas of pink, that's <laughs> below eight degrees, um, eight degrees below where it should be for this time of the year. So that is quite cool. Uh, that's why we are seeing a few frosts around there. But on the other side, the west coast, very coastal areas, leaning warmer than average. We've seen some very warm weather on the west coast. It was 25 degrees in Hokitika uh, yesterday. That might be a record for November. And as you can see, the North Island, not as cold, although the eastern side is, but further to the north, Auckland, Waikato. Uh, Waikato is a little bit cooler, but not really. The dark part you see there is mostly around Mount Te Aroha and the Kaimai Ranges. So the upper half of the North Island not looking too bad, but you will feel that temperature drop after all the humidity you've had lately. So the weekend, Saturday, there is that big high, and we've pushed New Zealand down on the map because after that frosty beginning, and like I say, the frosts are not widespread. They're here and there, inland, in a few places. Otherwise, it's just simply a bit of a cool start to the day. But by the afternoon, look at these winds. They're coming out of Sydney, and the winds in Sydney are coming out of uh, Queensland. So this is warm weather, warmed up through the Australian interior, then comes across the Tasman and warms up again. Uh, well, loses some heat there, but warms up again going over the ranges. So that's the reason why Saturday afternoon back comes the warmth. As we go into Sunday, uh, warmer weather on the eastern side of the North Island, maybe not as warm on the western side with cloudier weather, but the airflow is mild. It's coming out of Australia, so I don't think there'll be too many complaints about that. But the weather pattern is fairly unsettled at the moment. So while Sunday's windier in the north and a little more settled in the south, here's the next big low. And we kick off next week with that low Tracking over the South Island, bringing a surge of windy weather. This is a bigger low than the one we've had this week. 
980 hectopascals. That's going to dredge up another cold southerly, more windy weather. Now, I've been asked a lot about this. We pushed back against Niwa when they said a hot, scorching summer on the way. Now, yes, there will be some records broken more than likely. We seem to break records every single summer, especially when you add in new extra weather stations. Um, that's a different discussion. But the, the point I'm making here is that while they jumped big on La Nina being hot and a scorcher for some, the Southern Ocean's really stormy at the moment. It's producing, there's another one just off there. We've got another low here, which is not really Southern Ocean, but it's borderline to it. And what it's doing is it's reversing the impacts of La Nina for some parts of the South Island. You're getting these injections of colder, wetter, windier weather. So you see that on Monday. You see it again on Tuesday, though, the bounce back of, of the spring pattern. More warm weather coming back on Tuesday uh, for the south, so your temperatures will start to lift back up again. But then we go to Wednesday and look at this. Another big storm down here, pushing the winds in, pushing more wind and rain. This does not look at all like a La Nina map. Not at all. Uh, high pressure to the north, low pressure in the south, lots of windy westerlies. That's what Weather Watch has been saying for a few months now. It's only a moderate La Nina and the impacts on New Zealand may not be that great, especially the lower half of the South Island. The North Island, you've had some hints of La Nina lately. We've certainly noticed that with the downpours. But I really wanted to show you this map for next week showing one, two, and a third storm pretty much there on the map showing uh, it is very, very unsettled in the Southern Ocean at the moment. No great signs of change coming, although there is a big high over here, but that's quite a long way off. So for now, a bit more of an unsettled pattern as we go into the month of December. We'll see you again tomorrow with our next update.